Elaine, is that you? You shouldn't be out of bed. I heard something. Rattling around in the dark. Do you want Mark to find you with a broken leg? It was Elaine. I know it was. You know the doctor wants you to stay in bed. You think I'm insane. Let's get you back upstairs. I'll make you some hot tea. I should have stopped Mark from coming. You know you don't mean that. I don't know what I mean anymore. I can't help it. I'm frightened. There's nothing to be afraid of. before. Yeah, well, I still have our hotel reservations. I'm not that nervous. It's so big. Yeah, 14 rooms. Nothing changes. When I was a child, I used to think there were goblins in every dark corner. That's what he used to call the whole place. A dark corner. Are you trying to frighten me? <laughs> well, it won't work. I think your house is beautiful. What's in there? Another dark corner? No, the drawing room. Where I came from, we used to call it the parlor. Yeah, well, uh... <laughs> I take it back. Nobody would ever call that a parlor. And that's the study, right? How did you know? I didn't. It just popped into my head. It was my father's room. His favorite room in the house. Now, this does give me the creeps. He used to spend a lot of time in here. It was his only escape. Escape from what? You wait here. I'm going to go and see if my mother's still up. Mark. I thought I heard someone come in. Hello, Mrs. M. When did you get here? A few minutes ago. How's my girlfriend? Glad to see you. That's how I am. And you look marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. And you're married again. Can't wait to meet her. Yeah, why do you think we came here? Two whole weeks without your approval. It's like living in sin. Oh. Is my mother awake? Yes. Mark, she's not very well. Nothing serious. Nerves, mostly. 
How long has this been going on? Two weeks. Mrs. M, would you help get Laura settled? She's in the study. You're staying here? Why not? Do you think it's smart? Yes, yes, I do. Mark, which bedroom? Just help get Laura settled, Mrs. M. Two whole years. I think you've grown. Stand up again and let me see. No, I, uh, I don't think I'm still growing, Mother. Head of the Tokyo Bureau. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I want you to know I buy your magazine every week. It's not my magazine. I only work for it. What does, what does the doctor say? Rest, pills. Tell me about Laura. What's she like? You'll see for yourself. You'll meet her in the morning. Does she know about Elaine? She knows that I was married once before, that, that she's dead. Nothing else. Mother, I want you to help me. How? By letting me handle Laura. I want you to avoid the subject of Elaine as long as I stay in this house. But you can't stay in this house. I wrote to you. Well, yeah, I, I, I know. I made the hotel, hotel reservations, but, but when we got to the airport, it, it didn't seem right somehow, so we came here. But you can't. You mustn't stay here. You've got to get out of this house tonight. Why? Because of Elaine? Yes. You don't understand. That's why we came here. I haven't told Laura anything. I want to tell her, but I, I can't. Not yet. When I left this house, I thought it was all over. But I was wrong. I had to come back here. Being in this house is the only way. I know that now. But I need your help. Mark, please. It's for your own sake. Yes, I, I knew you'd say that sooner or later. Listen, Mother, we're, we're all tired tonight, so tomorrow I, I have a business conference. But after it's over, we'll get together and have a talk, just the two of us. You and I, all right? You can't stay here. Listen, I'm sorry you feel the way you do, but I am married again, and you're just going to have to get used to it. I'll see you in the morning. Mark, please. Mother. Listen, maybe it is a mistake for me to be in this house, but I'm trying to work it out, and it's not going to be easy. So help me. Don't fight me. The name is really Angela Medina. But everyone calls me Mrs. M. Was this really Mark's room when he was a boy? He slept in this bed almost every night of his life. Until he was married, that is. Would you like something to eat? I have some chicken in the refrigerator. That'd be lovely, thank you. What was she like? Elaine? She was a man-eater. I'm afraid I don't understand. Is there something wrong? Oh, I, I thought someone was... I must really be tired. I'll come back soon. Want some cold chicken? No, I'm not hungry, thank you. What happened to the pictures of Elaine? Oh. Tell me, is she really sick this time? Ghosts. She says she hears ghosts. My mother.
ever do that. Where did you learn that tune? You scared me. I thought it was one of your goblins. That tune, where did you hear it? I don't know. How's your mother? It was Mrs. M, wasn't it? Her idea of a joke. What is she trying to prove? Honestly, darling, I don't know what you're talking about. I should never have brought you with me. I don't understand you. It's your family, but it's mine too now. Well, you should never have married me. I love you. If you don't kiss me right this minute, I'm going to tell everybody you married me for my money. Why did you marry me? Well, don't you know? Tell me. Please tell me. Because I... Because I got tired of eating in restaurants. I hate you. <laughs> and I can beat you at gin rummy. Didn't love have anything to do with it. What do you think? I don't know, Mark. Sometimes I wonder. I didn't phone you to argue. I, I want you to come. Please. I'm so lonely, I don't know what I'll do. Please. Are you all right?
Great. Yeah, well, yeah, well, we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, fine. Yeah, bye. That was Dave Brody. He's gonna stop by, he wants to meet you. And we'll go to the office together. I think you'll like him, he's a... He's an old friend of mine. Hey, you're not still nervous about meeting my mother, are you? I do wish we could spend the day together. Yeah, well, we will, tomorrow and the day after. But today I have that conference. I know. Mark? Mm-hmm? The room across the hall. Is that the room you shared with Elaine? Yeah, yes, it was. Here, I'll tell you what. You give yourself a tour of the city, then meet me in the office at five, and we'll take it from there, all right? How's that sound to you? Fine. Sounds fine. Now, come on. You're pretty enough to meet anybody's mother. You're a lovely child, Laura. Thank you. Very lovely indeed. Well, what did I tell you? You. You told me nothing. I'm lucky if I get three letters a year. Well, it'll be different now, Mrs. Wilson, I promise. I certainly hope so. I've been so anxious to meet you. When Mark said we were coming here, I was... Oh, I didn't even know about this house. Oh, do you like it? Yes. Did you tell your mother how we met? I was working at the American consulate in do Tokyo. Do you feel comfortable here? Yes. Are you sure? Of course. I didn't ask if you are comfortable. I asked if you felt comfortable. There's a difference. Mother, I think it would be a good idea if... if... you won't listen to me, at least she might. Hmm? Mr. Brody's downstairs. No, we have to go now. I want Laura to meet David. Come on. You will come back and talk to me, won't you, Laura? Of course. You haven't even touched your breakfast. Of course he told me about you. When Mark talks about this city, he means Dave Brody. Yeah, but watch out for him. He's a collector of unwary females. Yeah, only those that qualify. But I would go out of my way to meet a pretty girl like you any time. Don't let him fool you. Out of his way means three minutes from here. I'm glad you brought that up. High-rise apartment, sixth floor rear. If you play your cards right, I'll give you the key. Mark, did you hear something? You bet I did. I heard my best friend making a pass at my wife. Okay, let's be serious. I'll make you a trade. You and I can go to Tokyo. He can have his old office back. Listen, I'll see you at five. And do me a favor, stay away from my mother. Why? Well, just do it for me. I'll explain it all later. Don't forget, I offered. Come on, lover. Are you looking for something? Oh, I didn't know that you were interested in spooks. Oh, I'm not. Not really. Mark's father was a bug on the subject. And now his mother. She's even worse. Spirit possession. Specialty of the house. Why this one? No reason. Mrs. Medina, last night I thought I heard something. Don't you start. Please. One is enough. I've made a pot of coffee. Would you like some? Uh, no, thank you. I think I'll uh, get ready and go out.
think you'll be home for lunch. What? Hearing things again? I don't know. It's so strange. Mrs. M, in Elaine's room, how long since the phone's been used? Two years. Why? I woke up last night and I thought I heard someone crying in her room, talking on the telephone. Ghosts. I went in there and there was no one there. What did Mark say? I couldn't tell him. He'd think I was being silly. Come over here. Come on. Now take a look. Willard Street, 20th century. The Hollywood Hills are up that way. In that direction is Pasadena. Round you is the city of Los Angeles. You'll see it all when you go out. Now you tell me what self-respecting ghost would want to live in a place like this. Sold the other one three years ago. Didn't want to break the pair, but he talked me into it. Said it was a birthday present. Cheerful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not the same tune. Well, that'd be foolish. One of them is sad, and one is gay. You're a very lucky person, young lady. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, when I didn't sell, I put it in my storeroom. Just today, I decided to give it another try. You know when I put it in the window? Maybe 15 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strange. I mean, all day I've been hearing the tune from that music box, and then I practically fell into the store where you bought it. No, I didn't buy it. I hated the thing. Oh, the man said you... I didn't buy it, Laura. So let's drop it, please. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to drag Mark away after dinner, but we do have a few editorial things we have to clean up at the office. Yeah, I promised my secretary in Tokyo I'd call her before she went to lunch. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. He is all yours, I promise, honest Andrew. Fine. Mark, tell me about Elaine. What was she like? Why? Curious. Well, she was a sweet, troubled girl. Where did you meet her? A gun quit Maine. She was in summer stock. She was an actress. I didn't know that. Was she good? Well, not really. Oh, was she pretty? <laughs> Laura, this is silly. Was she? Yes, very. What happened to her, Mark? How'd she die? Mark, what happened to her? Take the advice of an expert. Never marry a curious girl. Well, why can't you tell me? Is it a secret? Do you know? Yes. She tried to eat and talk at the same time. Couldn't make it. Dave, I'm serious. Darling, it's getting late. We have to put you in a taxi and get back to the office. We'll talk about it later. All right? All right.
Yes. Who is it? I hope I'm not disturbing you. Oh, Laura, child, please come in. Close the door. Come and sit down. You said you wanted to talk to me? Sit down, please. Was it about Elaine? Did Mark come home with you? No. Laura, I want you to do something for me. I want you to get Mark to leave this house. And I want him to do it tonight. But that doesn't make sense. Maybe it's because I'm growing old. Maybe that's why. Maybe when you move closer to death, the dead move closer to you. How much do you know about Elaine? I know that she's dead. Did you know that she died here, in this house? In the room at the end of the hall? Uh, no. No, I, I didn't know that. Death isn't the end. It can't be. Not if there's something left unfinished. How did she die? What happened? She's still in this house. I know it. Laura, since the day you and Mark were married, since that very day, I've, I've felt it behind me. And when I've turned around, there's, there's no one there. A ghost? Call it what you like, a, a presence, a feeling, a, a will. There's something of Elaine in this house. And Mark must not stay. No one really believes in ghosts. Won't you understand? Elena's here and she's vicious. Laura, I'm trying to help you. Mark wouldn't listen to me, but, but you must, you must. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, just do it. Think I'm mad, but do it. I'll wait for Mark to get home. Then you'll go. Yes, I'll talk to him about it. Laura, thank you, child.
Gladiator. Laura. Laura. but you. What you need right now is sleep. Now, this will help. It was Elaine. She was here. But, Laura, Elaine's dead. She was here, right in this room. She's dead. You know that. I don't care, Mark. I know what I heard. You must have heard it. Mrs. Wilson, you've had a long trip. You're in a strange place. Your nerves are bound to be on edge. Now, maybe you heard something. Or maybe you only thought you did. I, I don't know. But I do know you've had a severe shock. And you need rest. Now, come on, take this. Come on, do what he says. Come on. Did my mother talk to her? Mark! Mark, I'm frightened. There's nothing to be afraid of. Please stay with me. You get some sleep. Come on, lie down. Do what the doctor says and remember. I'll be very near if you need me. Talk with my mother. You'll be all right. I was wrong. I thought it would be you. But it's Laura. She's the one. Mark, you've got to get her out of the house tonight. Because she's my wife. Yes. Oh, Mark, it's not what you think. I, I have nothing against her. She seems like a nice, sweet girl. Mother, what did you say? Mark, to her? it's beginning. She can't stay Mother, here. Mother, I want to know what you said to if her. If you get her out of the house tonight, you'll both still be safe. Safe from what? Elaine. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Mother. Elaine's dead. She can't do anybody any harm. <sighs> now, where are you going? I'm going to talk to Laura. Sarah, you'll do nothing of the kind. Now, you'll stay away from that girl if I have to tie you down myself. She's been frightened enough for one night. Get out of this house. Oh, Sarah. What's he doing here? Well, I sent for him. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought you knew. Knew what? This is still my house, and I don't want him in it. All right, Sarah, just don't be foolish now. Leave her alone. Stay away from her. Let her sleep. I'll talk to you later. No, not later, no. Mark, what about Laura? Laura is my responsibility, Mother. You let me worry about her. 
All right, what was all that about? Well, two years ago after Elaine died, after you left, it was all quite a shock to your mother. Well, I could never have stayed here. I know, I know. Anyway, I came to see her. I knew how destructive she'd been. Elaine, your mother, battleground. Maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I told her I thought that's why Elaine drank so much. Oh. Guess I didn't use my best bedside manner. She's never forgiven me. Mm. Why can't we see our mistakes when we're making them, Sam? I should have known exactly what would have happened if I brought Elaine here to live. Nobody knows such things. I loved her, and I killed her. Nonsense. She shot herself. She did it, not you, and it's ended. Nothing ever ends. Yes, it does. Mark, let it go. Uh, I can't. Do you know I've never been able to tell Laura how much I love her? If you don't mind, I'd like to stay around a while and have another look at her. I thought it might end when I fell in love with her. But it didn't. I even thought that if I brought her here, everything would change. But it doesn't work. You think you've pushed it away, but... Still right there. They don't want me to talk to you. Where's Mark? Downstairs. Laura, I don't have much time. It was Elaine, wasn't it? I don't know. I thought I heard her, but I don't know. Maybe I'm going out of my mind. She was here. I want to see Mark. Laura, try to understand. Elaine was here. That's not possible. She's dead. Laura, the barrier between life and death is weak, very weak. But between death and life, it's almost impregnable. She can't reach through, not alone, not without help. I know that now. And so she waits. She waits. Then someone comes. Laura, you have to get away before it happens. Before what happens, Mrs. Wilson? What can happen? She'll use you. She'll use you to harm my son. That's ridiculous. You didn't know her. She was strong and vengeful and possessive and demanding and... She can possess your body. She can do it. But Mark, why would she want to hurt Mark? It can happen again. And this time, you may not be able to get away. Why would she want to hurt him? Dear God, make her see, does it matter? What did he do to her? He... He... Killed her. He killed her. 
Now do you understand? I've never said anything to anyone. Not even Mark. But I know. Mark couldn't do a thing like that. They were in that room. They'd had quarrels before, but this was... She was always trying to turn Mark against me. I heard him shouting. He said he'd kill her. I don't believe it. You think I want to believe it? He's my son. Later, I heard the shot. And then I heard him running down the stairs. And by the time I got to the hallway, he was gone. I still hear it over and over again. The shot, the footsteps, the shot, the footsteps. I went into their room. And she was dead. The gun was... I picked it up, I wiped it off, I put it in her hand. And I told the police she'd killed herself. They were very sympathetic. We had a permit for the gun, they even returned it. It's not true. None of it. Laura, she's here and she's waiting. She'll want you to kill him. No. Laura, you say you love him. Help him. Leave me alone. Why can't you leave me alone? She'll come back again. I know she will. Leave me alone. <laughs> into the drawing room. I'm trying to help her. I'm trying to help her. I'm trying to help her. How long before it takes effect? Oh, just a few minutes. They'll probably have to carry her upstairs. Lane. Elaine. Yes, darling. That'll make you sleep and then everything will be all right. Mark. Yes? I don't want to hurt you. Listen, you go to sleep. I love you. Do you think it would be better if I took her to the hotel? Oh, I wouldn't disturb her until morning. She'll sleep all night now. Come on, I've got some coffee for you. Do you, uh... Do you believe in ghosts? Oh. Oh, spirits, yes. Ghosts, no. Huh? In a bottle, 90 proof. As a matter of fact, we could use some right now. Is there any in the house? I suppose, somewhere. I never did find all of Elaine's hiding places. Yeah. You know, maybe Elaine is still in this house. Don't do it. Mark? Don't do it.
Close the door. Are they going to let you leave? I asked you to close the door. Now we can talk. Laura? Yes, Mother. No, Mother. We'll talk right here. You are not Laura. Now, isn't that ridiculous? You really mustn't go around saying that sort of thing, Mother. Or people might think you belong in an institution. Please. Where's the gun, Mother? Please. You said the police returned the gun. Where did you put it? Please. Leave me alone. That's entirely up to you, Mother. It all depends on whom you want to protect most. Mark or yourself. I think I know the answer. Mother, have you seen... Mother? What is it? What happened? Mother, have you seen Laura? I tried to warn you. I did. I tried to warn you. I did.
time. Laura's not in her room. What? I, I went to my mother and asked her where she is, but I don't know what it is. She's not making any sense. You better take a look at her. Laura? What do you mean, sneaking up behind me? Spying on me? What are you doing out here? I wanted to feel the wind. Why, that's so strange. Do you, Doctor? Frankly, yes. I find it most strange. I don't know how you managed to stay on your feet. I'm perfectly all right. My dear girl, the amount of sedation I pumped into you, I don't understand it. I said I was all right. I've never seen her like this. Well, maybe it's time you did. I'm sorry, darling. I must be more nervous than I thought. You certainly are, young lady. You'd better get her back into bed. All right, Doctor. Mark, I'm going to see your mother. Come on, let's go inside. Mark? Let's sleep in the other bedroom tonight. What for? I know it was Elaine's room, but I don't care. Please, darling. been like living in a grave. So lonely. I never wanted to be alone. No one wants to be alone. Help me. Please. Good night, Mother. Come along, darling. Keep her away from you. Laura? She's not Laura. What? Oh, oh, I see. And if she's not Laura, who is she? Remembering. Do you like this room? No. I love it. I always do. What? When I was a little girl, I used to have a dream. A very special dream. When I did something wrong, I dream I woke up and it was yesterday. And I had a second chance. Then I'd really wake up and it would be tomorrow and I didn't have a second chance at all. But it'll be different now, darling, won't it? I don't think we should stay in here. Are you afraid? I don't understand you. When Dave gets here, I want to see him. Dave? He'll be here and I want to see him. And you promised the doctor you'd get... See who it is, darling.
no such thing as spirit possession. It's a superstition with no basis in fact. You saw her. She was different. She wants to hurt Mark. But why? Sarah, if anyone's in danger, it's that poor girl. And you have only yourself to blame. I knew you'd say that. Now, you listen to me. Some people need a great deal of reassurance. In unfamiliar surroundings like this, they become more uncertain, more insecure, extremely open to suggestion. You terrified that girl. I told her the truth. I'm trying to protect Mark. The way you protected him from Elaine when she was alive. I'm sorry, Sarah, but there's more than one kind of possession. She phoned me. She said she wanted to see me. Oh. Come on upstairs. Laura, what happened to the music box? Do you want to catch cold? I want it open. Then we have enough trouble. I said I want it open. Laura, why are you behaving like this? Shut the door, Dave. Go ahead. Close it, Davy. Better. Much better. And cozy. All in one room. My second chance, Mark. I told you I'd have it this time. Did you know about that? All I know is that you said you wanted to see me. Why? Yes, I did. Laura, what did you do to the, to the music box? It broke. <laughs> you always did say I had a terrible temper, remember? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't know he bought it for me, did you? Look, I, I swear I don't know what you're talking about, Laura. Laura. But that's not my name. Look at me, Mark. Don't you know who I am? Yes, you're, you're Laura. Laura, Laura, Laura. Is that all you can see? There is no Laura! <laughs> there is no Laura. You don't believe me, do you? You didn't believe her either. She tried to warn you. So did your mother. Laura, please. You don't know me. And once you said you'd never forget me. Mark, I'm so disappointed in you. But you know me, don't you, Davy? You never knew about us, did you? How we used to laugh at you. High-rise apartment, sixth floor rear. I've still got the key, Davy. What is this, some sort of game? Mm-hmm. Punish the murderer. Kill the man who killed me. Nobody killed you, Laura. You're standing right here. It's not gonna get the doctor. Stop treating me like a child. I know exactly what I'm doing. No, you don't. You're... Insane? No. No, I'm not. Maybe your Laura is. But not I. But you are Laura. You make me sick. You always did. Running to Mama for everything. Well, my dear, this is one time you should have listened to her. I'll get the doctor. No! I think... I want you to stay. I'm not sure why, but you have to stay. All right, then I'll get him. No! He's in the other room. I don't want him here. Hey! Close the door. Lock it. Please. 
Give it to me, Laura. There is no Laura. They used to think insanity was a sign of possession. Devils. Possessed by devils. Did you think I was a devil when we were married? It's not possible. Your mother knew me the moment she saw me. I've waited two years to kill you. I had something to wait for. It's her. It's Elaine. Elaine died. She's dead. That's Elaine. It's over. All the waiting. Over. But why should you do this to Laura? There was no other way. Yeah, but why her? You know what they'll do to her. You killed your first wife. Why not your second? But I didn't. And if you are Elaine, you must know that I didn't. I knew you were a murderer. But that's not true. Who should know better than I? But don't you remember? You've been drinking. I took the bottle away from you and that made you furious. I know what happened. Do you? Maybe you don't. When it happened, you were so drunk you didn't know what you were doing. Maybe you never knew. Try to remember. Come on. It all started with a music box. You wanted to play it and I took it away from you. And you threatened to kill yourself. Your mother knows the truth. How could she? She was asleep. I walked out on you, Elaine. I walked out and left you alone. Don't you remember? You said you'd kill yourself and I walked out on you. Oh, I know now I should never have left you, but that's not killing. I didn't kill you, Elaine. She heard the footsteps. And the shot. You know I'm not a murderer. Try to remember. You walked out. I can't I remember. You know there's no reason to harm Laura. So let her come back to me. Please. Oh. You walked out. I was alone. I was frightened. I phoned him. I cried. I begged him to come. Laura. Laura, listen to me. Elaine says there is no Laura, but it can't be. Elaine's dead. She's in the past. And you've got to fight her. It's your only chance. Fight her! Why can't I remember? Don't let the past come between us. Don't let Elaine come and take you away from me. You're all that matters to me now. Please. He killed me. He killed me. Dave. It was Dave. An accident. It was an accident. Will she be all right? Yeah. 
Why don't you go back up to bed? Mark. Mother, don't. Please. Those two terrible years. How could I ever have thought it was you? It doesn't matter. It's all over now. Please. Don't hate me. Nobody hates anyone, Sarah. Why would you ever want to stay on? Well, why should I go anyplace else? No more ghosts. How did she know about Dave? Pure chance, maybe. I'll never believe there was a ghost. Anyway, it was you who brought Laura out of it by appealing to her insecurity. You told her how important she was to you, and that's what she wanted to hear. Cherish her, Mark. It's what we all need most. It's an old bromide, but it happens to be true. I'll check back in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. Mark? Mm-hmm. Elaine's still here. No, no, she's gone. I can feel her presence. Now you think about it. Everything that happened to you happened after my mother suggested it would. Whatever you heard was in your own head. That's all it was. Suggestion. Not possession. Why did you marry me? Because I love you. Because I love you very much. <laughs> 